oh my god, I like slept for 14 hours last night. I was tired. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hope Mess Tom, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are new here, my channel is all about loving our collections as they are, being critical of new makeup releases, and being smart about our makeup purchases. If that content sounds good to you, I would love to have you subscribe and Likes are appreciated, and I'm on Patreon if you want to support me there. Hi, welcome to Mesmus. <laughs> We're still trucking along. It's the 27th, so the 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. So there's only five more videos. This is one of five. So incredible to be like this close to the end of this project. Mesmus. This project, I don't want to call it because Mesmus we might do again next year. We're not going to do 31 days. <laughs> Um, but we are gonna do something again next year. I've already been kind of like trying to plot that out just a little bit like not like being like a year ahead But what I want to do because I don't hopefully this project wouldn't work again next year Anyway, what the project is thus far has been using every item of a makeup collection in 31 days That was the goal every time I would use an item. I would put it in a box I could not use anything that I put in that box again until I've used that whole category. So once I've used all my bronzers, my bronzers came back into play and we cycled through again. And basically because we're so close to the end of the project, all I have left, the biggest category I have are my eyeshadows. So today the only thing I haven't used that's in, thus far in the project is gonna be my eyeshadow palette. So we've been decluttering, we've been doing all kinds of stuff for this project. So I have a full playlist of this project in particular in my description box below. It's in chronological order so if you like the concept of this but you kind of are missing the concept of this considering I've been through it a few times there there are a couple categories where I've been through them like I'm on my third or fourth cycle through them so like bronzers I've cycled through so many times foundations and concealers I'm like on my third time I just finished my blushes and highlights and so I can use face palettes again so yeah, we're a little bit late in the project so it's not going to make as much sense unless you go back to like the beginning to see where we started also there's a retrospective coming you can kind of just wait for that Maybe. I, I mean, please go watch my other videos if you're interested. <laughs> but also, I will. there'll be a roundup of this project. Today, we are going to use another Mothership. This is Mothership 6. This is the Midnight Sun. It has always been my favorite Mothership palette. I love how grungy it is. I love the, the, the tones, like this like mustardy brown. Because it's not really a yellow, but it is still like has that yellow tinge to it. Like this deep dark brown, this ruddy shade. But also, this is my favorite... Well, I like this shade a lot, and I like this um, this copper shade a lot, but the blue shade is fine. We actually might use the blue shade today. I think I'm going to do like a big liner look. I do want to try to use some of the other shades. We'll see. We'll see where, I mean, I guess this is where we're starting, but I just, I've always liked the colors where like, I love this green. Look at that. I mean, this shade's really nice. Look at that on my index finger. I mean, how can we not like that sparkly? I mean, come on, just look at this. And I understand that this color story perhaps isn't like the most user-friendly color story, but I think that's what I like about it. I think it's challenging in a good way because I don't think that you're gonna get a bad look when you use any of these things together. This is something that I've been kind of flabbergasted by, but I've used a lot of this Mayron mixing medium in this project, which I like very rarely have before this project. But I think I'm gonna do a liner with that blue shade, and then we'll do a little bit of that sparkly topper on the inner corner. I might do green on the tail of the wing of the liner. We'll see. I I, I like want to use a lot of the shades, but I do kind of just want to use that blue, which is interesting because I that blue is not, it's not my favorite. Let's go ahead and use it. I'm going to mix it with some Mayron mixing medium. Get it nice and liner-fied. Oh. No, I'm not, I, mm, it's, oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna prime my eyes just real quick. I like, I skipped ahead. Yesterday I primed my eyes before I started recording, and in my head I think I just thought I did that again. Oopsie poopsie. Let's try this again. So I'm gonna do like a big... Big swoop. Now that I've laid a little bit of the groundwork for the shade, I'm going to take a bigger brush and fill in. Okay. 
All right, let me see if I can do that to the other eye. It's moments like these that, like, I realize that my face is really not symmetrical. Like, there is clearly more space between this eye and where my hairline is than there is on this side of my face, which is, like, it always just makes things disorienting because, like, I would have to take this, like, up into my hairline more for it to, like, look the exact same. But it's okay. Asymmetry, that's, like, that's why we're pretty, right? Also, the point of this kind of makeup is to really just have fun with it. I don't think it's so much about perfection, and I think when you get really in your head about it, and I'm saying this to myself, too, because I could be very heady about this. I think it's fun that I just, you know, tried it. Not that this is something completely out of my realm. When you sit down for, like, makeup playtime, like, this is really what it's about, like, doing something like this. Like, obviously, makeup playtime could be used to, like, getting to know your collection a little bit more things like that, but also taking some risks because especially if you're not gonna post it online like this, you can totally do your makeup and no one has to see it. And I think that's important to remember. So next I'm gonna take like a brush like this and then I'm going to take that beautiful flaky topper on it and I'm gonna just like press that on the innermost part of my wings. So there's the side with it, the side without. Both very beautiful, but we're using Pat McGrath, Mama. We got to take it to the next level. I think what would be a good idea <laughs> is to spray your brush using this shade because I, this is something I would use my fingers for typically, but I really want it to stay a topper more so than like get super not really pigmented but super concentrated like I, I want it to feel a little bit more like a dusting than a full-on thing you know what I want to use the green and I think what I'm going to do with the green is do like a wing that follows and then pull it down into there I think that's gonna be our wrap on Mothership 6, Midnight Sun. I'm gonna go wash my hands because I'm glittery and then I will <laughs> I will be right back. So we're gonna try something a little bit different with complexion today. If you are new to this project, you are not gonna know what I'm talking about, but I'll get you caught up. So the Dr. Jart Disappore has, has kind of shown itself to be something that I very much enjoy in this project. I didn't know that I liked it so much, got to use it a few times, I really enjoyed it. However, there was a coworker of mine when I worked at Sephora who used to use this as a primer on her clients when they would come in. So today what I wanna do is I wanna try this as a primer and then we're gonna put the Tenti Dole over it. I just wanna see, this is an experiment. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, but we will see. So I imagine that this is going to work and also like <laughs> leave my skin looking as if it is completely flawless. And I say that because the disappear, as it promises, fills in pores, makes your, perfects your skin.
So the only thing that I think I won't like about this is that uh, there's there's not a lot of moisture elements to this. And my skin is oily, so I don't need the moisture. I just like the way my skin feels whenever it has like hella moisture on it. I'm gonna use the Tenti Dole from Lancome as my foundation today. I will want to do this again with the Dr. Jart and a foundation that I like love love just to see because if you're new here, I am kind of left like unsure of how I feel about the Tenti Dole. I think it's like a nice foundation. I just don't know it's like my foundation. Like that's kind of where I'm landing on it is I just, I don't know about for me. Although it is looking almost dewier than it ever has on top of <laughs> of this, which the Disappoor, I it's like not, I don't think it's supposed to be like matte matte, but I think it leaves more of a matte finish because of the SPF in it. I don't know, I could be completely delusional. What I'm learning as I'm doing this little experiment is that it's now very hard to tell <laughs> <laughs> what has foundation on it and what only has primer because both things have coverage. Gobble me, smell me, just down inside of me. I think I have both the foundation and the disappoor on. I think we're gonna have to do like a dedicated situation to, to testing that. I don't know if I should do a dedicated like video to that because it's such a specific thing that is like exclusive to what I'm doing here because it's just like who else is, lo who's looking for that? No one. The only concealer I have left is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And I'm like gonna wipe off as much as I can. I just need like a, I like lead, need almost no, no coverage for what's going on on my face. I have full coverage. I'm gonna use my finger to blend it out too. I'm gonna powder and then I will be right back. With with the power of all of these things going on on my face, I should I should look as poreless as a little baby bottom. <laughs> that is I feel like that is that is how I should <laughs> that's how I should look at the end of this. I'm also not gonna use Laura Mercier. I'm going to use the Hourglass in dim light. I'm gonna contour with my Row Dial Compact. It's there, I have to be so close to pan. Like, I just have to be. Like, I'll be so disappointed if I made it through this project using my makeup literally every single day and I don't hit pan on a deluxe size sample. Although, if I don't hit pan on a deluxe size sample, that just means that Rodial is giving out some incredibly generous deluxe size samples. For a bronzer today, we're gonna stick, we're just kind of sticking with Hourglass. Like yesterday was Pat McGrath. Today's a lot of Hourglass. I'm feeling so much better than I did yesterday. I know at the top you heard me say like, I slept for 14 hours and I really did. I don't feel unwell, like I don't feel sick. I just like, Life will catch up to me at just whenever it wants to. Like, it's probably a combination of, like, having emotions <laughs> about this time of year, it being, like, Christmas the day the day of, but I also spent time with people the day before, so I just feel like I was, like, sort of drained, sort of just drained in general. For blush, we're going to be using Euphoric Fusion. Okay, and then I chose Moon Pillar as my highlight from Ritual Defee. This is a rare light luminizer formulation, so no no distinct glitter, just beautiful shimmer. Now's the time in the video. I'm gonna throw on eyeliner. I'm gonna use Black Her from Marc Jacobs. I'm gonna spray my face, put on mascara, and then we'll be back and we will do a lip. So we're gonna keep everything galactic. So on the lips, I'm going to be using Full Blooded from Pat McGrath. This is one of the matte trans lipsticks. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually top it with this. Hopefully you can see it. 
This is from the Pat McGrath Liquid Lust collection. This is the Violet 007 Crystalline. So it came with like the purple, I just decluttered these, purple, red, and pink liquid lipsticks that Pat McGrath released in like 2017, I think. But I kept this because the, the lipsticks were starting to go off a little bit. But this is, you know, just, it's just a little uh, thing of pigment. So that's why I kept this. I have no idea how this is going to look. <laughs> so we're just going to give it a go. I'm going to put this on my top lip first and then put the pigment on. I actually think I'm just gonna keep it on the center of my lip. I was gonna do the whole thing, but I think it's gonna work the best on the center of the lip. So I'm gonna do the bottom and then put some pigment on the center of the bottom lip. I feel celestial. What do you guys think of this look? I think I'm looking fine, fresh, feminine, divine, so hello, make denim and slick. I'm gonna zoom you in so we can take a look at the skin together. Honestly, that disappoor really worked as a primer. I think this is chime out, chime off in the comments down below. Let me know if you also think this is the best that the Tenti Doll has looked on my skin, because I think it is. And I think it might have to do with it having used the Disappore as the primer. And also my under eyes look really good today and I use the Too Faced, the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, which I have been iffy on, but this is like how it wears, this is like it at its best. I think it looks really good. And also the cheek, like everything, Looks so good, the eye, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So we have now reached the point in the video where I reflect on everything I used today. So first things first, Mothership 6. Divine, lovely. Look at this look. I mean, I, we, I didn't use too many things. I only used three shades. So I used this one, this one, and the green. But it inspired this, which is something that I don't think I would have done otherwise. So there's that. I also love all of the mattes in here as well. This is a palette, this is a Pat McGrath palette that I've probably spent the most time with, like pull this out more regularly than any of the other ones. So I like this one. I know this is like not everyone's favorite color story, but this is like undoubtedly my favorite Pat McGrath palette. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that and offer it to you. It's often marked down because I don't think it sells the best, but it really, to me, She's a winner. She's a winner in my heart. I love her. I don't, I just think that this is Pat McGrath at her finest. This is interesting. This pushes artistry. And that's what I think of when I think of Pat McGrath Labs is that it's something that inspires, like something that feels innovative. And I think that this does. Not all of the motherships are built equally, but this is when Pat McGrath is her most exciting. Disappore plus Tenti Dole is a beautiful base. This might work well as a primer too, which is upsetting. Because it's like, do I want to keep using it as a primer? But I like it on its own, too. It's such a beautiful product. It doesn't feel like I have a lot of makeup on, even though I do. So I think that's a credit to both these products for not feeling heavy on the skin. Which is interesting because it feels like it should. Because I technically have more makeup on than I've ever had in one of these video. Because I essentially use two base pigmented products. So... I don't know, I really like this. And if this combination is how I need to finish using the Tenti Dole, then maybe that's how I do it. But I also wanna try that trick with another one. I will be really annoyed if I need to have this as both a base product and then also wanna use it as a primer. I don't know, I feel like this is something that now that I have used it, it's something that is will be constantly in my collection. Like I will always replenish this once it's gone. I love this. Redemption arc for Lancome. It's not even that I didn't like Lancome the other times I've used it, but this proved to me that it, it's more about like what I'm putting on top, like under this, that is more important. Okay, so excellent. The Hourglass Bronzer. 
favorite bronzer formula of all time. Easy, needs to expand its shade range. Euphoric Fusion Blush from Hourglass. Gorgeous, stunning, like ruddy purple, beautiful, really worked well and complemented today's look. Ritual Defeat Moon Pillar. Really went with today's look. It has like, it just has that intrigue, but it's not as spacey as Lunaris is, which is another rare light luminizer. This one's like almost a more wearable shift to purple where that one's like blue, purple. This one's more like, is that purple? But it is undoubtedly a beautiful sheen. Ooh, ooh, you know I love me some Ritual Defeat highlighters. Oh, I brought this concealer, also Redemption Arc. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff happening with things that I was not so excited about, but that ended up working out today. This might be one of those things, just like the Pat McGrath concealer, that like less is more. And so maybe, like I knew that, but like just doing like the slightest of dabs really worked better. And like I still got a lot of coverage and it blended into the skin a little bit better and I think it looks less heavy under my eyes. So clocked, noted, full-blooded, plus this pigment in the center. It really goes with this lip, but I think this is my favorite Pat McGrath matte trans lipstick. I just think it's such a gorgeous color. Like I really like Omi and I really like Flesh 3, but like this is like the special one. And I think that there is another matte trans lipstick that will be decluttered in the final video from this. And then this pigment was, it was nice to play with today, but something that I'm not gonna reach for that often, but I'm not decluttering it because it's like one of those things where it's like, you can live, you can live. That wraps up today's video. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. If you are new here and you made it all this way into the video, I think you liked spending time with me. So why don't you hit the subscribe button? And also don't forget to like it on the way out. Don't forget I'm on Patreon if you want to support me there. If you are a patron, I'm recording a Patreon video like immediately after this, so you're going to see this, this look again. I might throw an earring on for you, though. Just remember to follow your hoat, and you will find me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Friends! <laughs>